Victor Dayak is a man who brings the dead back to life. A classically trained sculptor, he helps scientists visualize long extinct pre-human species. But the commission that just landed in his inbox is unlike anything he's attempted before. That's amazing. I feel like being let in on a little secret here. It's a 3D X-ray of an ancient skull, or rather, the pieces of one. I had hoped that the skull would be in a bit better condition. The specimen is very crushed and distorted. I'm, I'm a bit overwhelmed because it's a pretty big challenge, so I've got my work cut out for me. The archaeological team that sent it to him has not yet been able to confirm the species, a crucial first step in unlocking the skull's story. But Dayak thinks he may be able to help. I just feel like what this can tell us possibly about our origins as a species, you know, is priceless. It's a tale that began half a world away with the find of a lifetime. There's something happening here. Dr. Harold Dibble has spent three decades digging up prehistoric stone tools. But this discovery trumps them all. <laughs> yeah, that looks good, huh? I've never found a skull before. It's your big mo, it's a grand moment for toi. You never expect to really come across them because they're so rare. Any human fragments are significant, but when you have one that's complete, it suddenly becomes a super find, right? A skull can tell us things about the early humans who lived in Africa that stone tools cannot. The morphology they had tells us a lot about the changes that took place in human evolution. We're talking about deposits that are, we don't know exactly yet, but perhaps 100,000 years old or slightly older. So it is, it is something quite major. Determining the exact date of the skull is an elaborate process. You see all these holes here, and those are all from samples that we've taken to try and date the sediment in each of these different layers. Each layer is analyzed using a technique called optically stimulated luminescence, which measures the last time the soil was hit by sunlight. And what we've dated is actually the, the quartz grains in this beach sand. As the quartz grains were buried in darkness, their unique structure began accumulating loose electrons. Counting the electrons reveals how long the layer, and any bones or artifacts within it, was buried. And that's how we know that the skull dates to about 108, 110,000 years ago. Um, uh, that is to say, the time period around the origins of modern human culture. From a scientific point of view, when we say it's around 100,000 years old, that's really the, the major thing. 